God save the king! God save the king! It's not just people in the UK who are excited about King Charles III's upcoming coronation. But also Romanians in a small village in Transylvania. The place is also known for its association with the tale of Dracula. King Charles has a special fondness for Transylvania, as he is the 16th great-grandson of King Vlad III, former ruler of the Wallachia region, which is now part of Romania. Apart from his familial ties, he's also captivated by the traditional architecture of the country. King Charles first visited Transylvania in 1998, when he was still the Prince of Wales. He has a distinct admiration for the antiquity and aesthetic appeal of Viscri village, which has managed to retain its old Saxon style. Every year in the spring, the Prince of Wales returned to this place with both funds and ideas to conserve the historical village and transform it into a popular tourist attraction. This house is one of the properties that now King Charles acquired in Viscri village. The reputation of the residents and the village significantly increased, especially among British tourists, after he ascended to the throne as the new King of the United Kingdom. Although the new King has a passion for architectural preservation, his endeavours in this field have not been as widely publicised as his past romantic entanglements. Discussions regarding the new monarch frequently bring up the story involving King Charles, the late Diana, and Queen Consort Camilla. If you want to see more great content from all over the world, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon. Thank you. Another issue with which Charles has had a long-standing association is the environment. Despite the fact that members of the British royal family are discouraged from expressing their opinions on any matter which has the potential to provoke political controversy. King Charles, however, understands the potential advantages of his position as an opportunity to make a significant impact in combating climate change. In the past, the new monarch has frequently participated in global fora related to the environment and climate protection. The cost of inaction is far greater than the cost of prevention. So I could only urge you, as the world's decision makers, to find practical ways of overcoming differences so we can all get down to work together to rescue this precious planet and save the threatened future of our young people. In 2008, at a meeting of the Council of Europe, he warned that the doomsday clock was ticking and called on all governments, the private sector and NGOs to work on this issue together. He also participated in the COP21 and COP26 conferences. Additionally, the private residence of King Charles, Highgrove House, has been transforming into an organic garden since the 1980s. Charles has been aware of environmental issues since 1969. At the age of 21, the Prince of Wales, as he was then, wrote a letter to Prime Minister Harold Wilson, expressing concern over the declining salmon population in the Scott River. In the 1970s, he spoke about plastic pollution and overpopulation during a visit to Cardiff. At that time, awareness of global warming was not widespread. Life as a prince, who had to wait for his mother to pass away to ascend to the throne, was, however, challenging. The biography of Charles indicates that he was a shy child. His father, Prince Philip, was quite strict with him as the first son and heir to the British throne. Charles was sent to a boarding school instead of studying with a royal teacher, like the sons of previous monarchs. After attending the Cheam School, a preparatory school near Newbury in Berkshire and Gordonston, Charles continued his education and received a Bachelor of Arts degree from the University of Cambridge. 
After graduation, Charles followed in his father's footsteps by enlisting in the military. He successfully completed the helicopter pilot course and was stationed at Cranwell Air Force Base. He subsequently underwent a naval course and served as the commanding officer of the HMS Bronnington minesweeper, as well as the commander of a Royal Navy frigate. When Charles was young, he was a popular figure and had many admirers. In 1981, he married Lady Diana Spencer, who Set later off. became known as Princess Diana. From the 1980s to the 2000s, the British royal family was plagued by rumors of a love triangle which ultimately ended tragically with the death of Princess Diana in a car accident in Paris. The popularity of the royal family, including Charles's, declined after the death of the princess, who was portrayed as the people's princess. As a result of the tragedy, the royal family and Prince Charles were compelled to adjust leading him to increase his involvement in charitable endeavors, become more transparent and more approachable to the public. Although the young prince was growing older, it was not lost on people that he was still first in line for the throne. Prince Charles was the longest serving heir to the throne in British history. At 74, he is the oldest monarch in history to be crowned. In the end, however, he will ascend to the throne amid speculation over a different future, as the new monarch is rather progressive and wants to modernize the dynasty. The other person currently in the spotlight is Queen Consort Camilla. Her given names at birth were Camilla Rosemary. She was born into an aristocratic British family. Camilla and Charles first met at a 1970 Windsor polo match. Over subsequent years, their relationship oscillated between being close and distant. In 2005, Prince Charles and Camilla tied the knot. Despite the passage of time, much of the public still holds a negative view of Camilla, believing that she was responsible for the breakdown of Diana's marriage. Nevertheless, she has made significant efforts over the years to prove herself. In 2022, during a proclamation marking her 70th anniversary as monarch, Queen Elizabeth II not only expressed her gratitude for having Prince Philip as a supportive partner, but also made a significant announcement. She publicly stated for the first time that her sincere wish is for Duchess Camilla of Cornwall to be recognized as Queen Consort when Prince Charles ascends to the throne. It was an unequivocal declaration that left no room for doubt regarding the royal family's stance on Camilla and paved the way for Prince Charles's seamless succession. The image of King Charles III, a new British monarch, and his dedicated and loving wife is now etched in history as a symbol of the dawn of a new era.